Hi, I'm Zan Tyler, and as I greet you today from Colonial Williamsburg, I'm reminded of the fact that Americans have always loved freedom supremely. I'm also reminded of the Korean War Memorial in Washington, D.C. that tells us freedom isn't free. Because of this, the network of Iowa Christian Home Educators has annually faithfully hosted a day at the Capitol to remind the government, our elected officials, and the community that homeschool freedom matters to us. Because of the unprecedented nature of the circumstances in our country, this event, rather than being in person, will now be a virtual event, and you can find more out more about that at Homeschool Iowa. As I was thinking about how much I will miss being at your event and what I would have said, a story comes to my mind. It was when I was speaking at a leadership forum in South Carolina for emerging state leaders. I did a presentation on homeschooling and one of the women in the audience asked me, don't you feel guilty for homeschooling? When I asked her why I should feel guilty, she said, well, you've robbed the school district of the money they would have received for your children had they been enrolled. You've robbed the school district of two involved parents that they need, and you've robbed the school district of children who probably would have done well on this standardized test. I was sort of shocked, and I asked the woman, who do you think my kids belong to anyway? There was silence in the room. And because I had been threatened with jail for homeschooling by the state superintendent when I began in 1984, I was used to carrying documents of freedom in my purse. It tells you a little bit of what my life was like. So I pulled this one piece of paper out and I read it to her. The fundamental theory of liberty upon which all government in this union repose excludes any general power of the state to standardize the children by forcing them to accept instruction from public teachers only. The child is not the mere creature of the state. Those who nurture him and direct his destiny have the right, coupled with a high duty, to recognize and prepare him for additional obligations. She asked me, where did you get that information as though it was probably right-wing propaganda. And I said, well, it was a 1925 U.S. Supreme Court decision, Pierce versus Society of Sisters. So as we, uh, as we meet together to fight for our freedoms, whether virtually or in the presence of others, we need to remember that we live in communities and sometimes go to church with people who have forgotten that our children are a trust from God and that they don't belong to the state, they belong to us. So as we close today, I want to tell you how much I'll miss being there and I look forward to seeing you next year. We need to remember that President Trump has called today, Sunday, as a national day of prayer. And he said, we are a country that throughout history has looked to God for protection and strength in times like this. So let us continue to look to God for, for our protection, for our strength, and also for the protection of our freedom. God bless you, and I look forward to seeing you next year.